What's going on, guys? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, guys, we're going to Curiosity, and the next video is going to be Perseverance. Both equally cool. Now, this one here, I believe, is 2352, and this is a neat one because I've done this area before. Here's the thing. If the Curiosity rover is in a certain spot, right, and it's something they don't want you to see, they're going to go ahead and, you know, censor it and doctor it up and whatever else they need to do, right? Put it in a different position, the rover, whether it be to the left, to the right, back more, forward, they're going to center it even more differently, right? Sometimes, though, they don't take out all the lines. Get out your magnifiers, guys. You're going to like this. All right. Now, what got me back into this photo is a photo that was on Facebook by Martine Graney. This is what she had here. So, again, this is her work, not mine at all. You can see she's got the raw image in the back, and she's got the enhanced version here. And this is what she says. This hill is half a mile away from the Navcam camera on the Curiosity rover. I don't agree with that, only because I think the sizes, people automatically assume that the size is very large. I don't think that's the case at all, and we've talked about that before. But anyway, however, I am not seeing a hill at all, but a poor attempt to disguise a magnificent giant double-fronted building with a deep apex roof and a smaller corner buildings connected to the main one by the left and right. Side rampart walls. Now, I agree with her on that. This is no doubt some kind of structure multiple structures lined up but i took the photo and i wanted to start fresh on it and this is what i got all right again get out your magnifiers pause it where you like all right first thing i did was check out any lines in this so-called mountain and then we went through the whole rest of the photo now i want you guys to see something interesting because this is going to be of a value again use your magnifiers check this out right now this is in mode of grayscale we don't want that we're going to go ahead and just make it rgb color now check this out for reference why don't you guys look at this right here there's what looks like some kind of depending on the size of this photo it's either a tower or a pipe sticking out of the ground and there's something right here you can see the the pipe okay and there's something right here on the ground again is it just a pipe or is it a tower depending on the size of the things we're looking at here again i don't agree that this thing's that big and when you see the new perseverance i think you'll agree now now, let me get those lines off, and what you'll see is right here when we enhance it. Now, here's a couple other little areas of interest. This one right here. Look at this piece right here. It's, it's really bizarre, guys. Right here. And, of course, it's highly contrasted, exposed, call it what you like. But what I see is something doing this and going into the ground. Going like that into the ground. But whatever this is, it's doing this. You can see something right here going like that. And it's being centered out so where you cannot see it. Another place here. But there's so much more in here, guys. After I started getting into this, it looks cool. Once this is done here, I swear to God, it looks like some kind of helmet from like the Greeks. You can see right here the lines coming up like this here. And you can see what looks like it's rounded right here, right? You'll see this. It's really, really wild to see stuff like this. You're going to see something over here. This thing looks absolutely mechanical with layers. And once I show it to you, you're going to go, wow, this really does pop out. Check it out right here. It goes up, goes over, goes down, goes like this here. You can see there's a separation here. There's all kinds of things in here, guys. Check this out right but there's a lot more okay i'm going to show you something on the end here this is cool and what's really cool about it is not so much the object but the little details on the object and you're going to find those right about here okay let's get into this full enhancement mode let's go i already got these circled i'm going to go ahead and check this out i'm going to move this over here to the right Again, check out the pieces, especially right here. We have things that are just like sticking out like this here. Something that goes up and over this. Notice the actual sections. The piece I pointed out earlier. See it? We have different sections here. Look at the details in here. The lines in here. Now, let's go back to the original. It's still there, guys. Nothing's changed. Look at this area right here I just, I just showed you. It hit the line. Of course, this is back in grayscale, so that's that's fine. But watch this. It's there, guys. It's right there. 
these pieces right here, mechanical in nature. Is this some kind of ship? Is this some kind of structure? I don't know. No idea. And what I do is I actually brought it up with the dodge tool to bring up anything that's bright and try to bring it up a little bit more, right? Look at the details in this so-called mountain. Are you serious? Look at this. No way is this a mountain. I've been saying this for the longest time. I've done this area before. We checked it out. But every now and then when they change the angle, they don't seem like they get all the lines completely out of the photo. And that's fine with me, right? All right. Here's that little pipe thing, or depending again on the size of it, check this out. Here we are right here with this other piece. You can see what looks like it's doing this, almost like it's like it's in this kind of curvature place right here. You can see where it's sticking up right here. Right? And we can see what looks like something here on the side of this white piece. Is it a structure? Is it just something mechanical? Again, it depends on scale, right? And you can see this white piece I got here in the green. There's an actual edge to it. It's not just a rock. It's something they're doing to it. And they're putting all of this crap all over it and centering it. Notice in the back, we have these other pieces in, the, in here. Looks like almost like these large pipes sticking out. Okay. Again, let's have a look. And I'm going to put this right in the middle of the screen. We're going to zoom into it. Okay. Now let's go back to the raw. It's right there, guys. It's right there, right in the middle. I'm going to go back and forth. It's right there. We're simply bringing out the lines and bringing it a lot better. That's all we're doing. We didn't draw it in. We didn't do any of that. It's right there in the photo. Now, let me show you the things on the end here. This is cool. Now, you can see this piece. It looks like this weird kind of like teepee type shape, right? Something right here, right? And it looks like it's doing this. That's not the only thing. How about what looks like a pipe or something sticking out? Here's a circle. Well, it looks like this thing is coming out, going back down like this here. It's the little parts that mean more, right? Watch this. It's still there, guys. This thing is still in the photo right here. And you can see this thing right here. There's like a, a hole. This thing coming out and doing this. Okay. It's not so much the shapes, but the things coming out of the shapes. Something's white right here. I can't tell what that is, but it appears to have two of these pieces right here. Check this out. One, two of them. They look identical. See that right there? What do you suppose that is? Now, guys, we may not be able to vet any of this, and that's fine with me. The point is, this stuff's in the photo, and it should not be here. This is Mars, a dead planet. Nothing more to see, right? Here's the object I was telling you about. It looks like it's going right into the ground. See it? Comes down. Does this. You can bet it does this. Goes back. Right? And then into the ground here. It looks like a space here. And you can see this piece looks like it's doing this. Okay? And going back. This almost looks straight. This might be a busted off piece of it. I'm not sure. It looks triangular. And then look at the other pieces here, guys. It looks like there's... I don't know. Maybe this could be natural, but I don't see that because I'm seeing what looks like these pieces here. Right? And a bunch of little pieces on it, like this piece here. Almost like the almost looks like these little round details of something protruding from these objects, right? And again, this one's almost really hard to see, but you can see it right there. And there it is. This area here in the middle. Let's bring that down. Notice this piece right here. Right? Appears almost to be doing that. But anyway, it's going like this. Going in, right? It's right there. It's still there. Right there. Coming down like this. And of course, this is grayscale again. I'm not doing this in the color. But you can see that right there. These other pots right next to it. Well, it looks like all these little pieces and stuff just laying around here. We're seeing it, and we're taking a peek through the censoring. Now, what if this here, most of this is like, like, you see how like it looks like you can almost see like levels right in here, right? Is it possible that this stuff has growth on it? You know, organics, something to that effect. Is it possible? And we just see it kind of dangling all over everything. Is that a possibility? And of course, that's an addition to 
the actual censoring, right? But this here, it looks like a giant statue head of a, like a helmet type thing. And you can see it doing this. What, what looks like multiple parts, right? But you can see this thing almost doing this, almost like going around. But again, look at the parts here within here. Bits and pieces. This one coming down, going up underneath this other one that's crossing it going down. I see what looks like structures, mechanical parts, or something to that effect. Clearly, this is not all natural. And I've said this a million times. What they're in looking at on Gale Crater is not mounds. It's not buttes, mountains, none of that. I see what looks like structures. Now, I have said, what if these people actually built into buttes and stuff like that? That's a very good possibility, right? We don't know. Pure speculation. It's all we can do here. Now, you can see other little pieces like right here. It just you expect to see rocks, hills and stuff like that because it's supposed to be, according to them, nothing but a, basically a desert, right? You know, cold, warm, cold, dry, no atmosphere. But yet they've been changing along the way saying, well, there's a water cycle now uh, in Gale Crater. And of course, they said this years ago. Anyway, so when you guys see this, what I'm seeing is structural. And again, you can follow any of these lines, either here on the left, where that helmet looking thing is, or here on the right, just check it out. The lines are there. We're simply bringing them out a lot better. And we got rid of a lot of the dark stuff here to expose the black lines better. See that? And guys, this is only the tip of the iceberg. I'll bet there's a ton more in here that I get. I guarantee you'd be blown away if we really seen what's really in this photo, right? And again, you can see these weird-looking pieces right here. Not only the shape, like I said, but the little pieces that are on said shapes. Something right here coming off this one. Even up here. Look for the lines. They are there. They are actually in this photo. Yep. They're there. Just got to bring them out. Oh, there's those three dots. You got these other pieces. It's almost like you can just see bits and pieces of said structure or structures in this one area. But we don't know what this stuff is. If it's multiple stuff, it's if it's one large piece with a lot of details, I don't know. But there it is. Guys, we've been saying this for years. Gale Crater is a civilization that's in ruins on Mars. They're not there for, like, checking out buttes and rocks and all that other garbage. They're there for a recon mission, Right. This is no different. I've done this very same area. And every time they change, like I said, they may change up the way they censor everything. You'll notice if you check out any of those photos with that said mountain in it, details are always different. Even the the side mounds, we're going to call them, let's say they were natural, they're different. The details are always different. Why? They should not be. If you took a picture of your house right now standing directly in front of it, you'd see the same door, same windows. You go to the left or to the right, You'll see them in a different angle, but they're not going to change shape. They're not going to change any of that. They're just going to change angles, and that's it. The house will never change its shape or anything like that. Angles, yes, not shape. But yet you'll find that all the time when it comes to NASA and, and JPL doing this. Like I said, guys, that's what I see. Anyway, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share. It's always appreciated. Oh, and folks, wait until you see the next Perseverance video I got coming up. Mind-blowing, period. They screwed up big time. JPL... NASA and whoever else is in got their hands in this screwed up big time and I'm glad they did. How did I find it? By watching a simple video. Some of you guys have been commenting, hey, look at this uh, moon video. Look at this Mars video. And that's what led me to the screw up that they have done. And what I found in it was mind blowing. You'll see that coming up soon. Anyway, guys, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so YouTube will share it, hopefully. 
And uh, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Have yourself a good morning, a good evening, a good night, and we'll see you guys soon. Peace, guys.